All right, I wanted to do a follow-up because I, I've had some great feedback on the whole when, uh, Windows 8 is not Vista, and I thought I'd clarify some things. Uh, number one, uh, Mac OS X is still my preferred OS, but I do a ton of work in programming in Windows. Uh, I know some of you have all f f you know, fled wind, uh, Windows for Linux because of Windows 8, uh, so I got that message loud and clear. And, that's you know that's great. There's uh, I think Linux has a lot to offer. My clients are extraordinarily Windows uh, dependent. A lot of .NET, a lot of a lot of you know moving forward with Microsoft for the applications that they use. And so I I stick in that realm. And uh, quite frankly, it pays the bills to to uh, keep up with what Microsoft has. Um, so. Uh, the the thing about Windows Vista, that in the title of this is from Vista to the Mojave Experiment, was there. I guess there was a lot of uh, there's a, a lot of back and forth and confusion. Like some people liked Vista and, and were asking me what you know what was wrong with Vista. Uh, I, I, I want to clarify something. Um, Vista was a good thing. Okay, it was just uh, it was a necessary evil to to change the direction for Microsoft. Okay, it, it, but. In that change, right, with change comes sometimes a lot of pain, uh, a lot of headache, and but it was necessary, and maybe I didn't convey that with um, the last video. Now, I got feedback, well, you know, I didn't have any problems in this and that. Well, some, some of the problems that, that we had were, were software that just wouldn't, it just wouldn't work. And a lot of it had to do with uh, getting with Microsoft and running administrative privileges and doing it automatically and um, there were also some driver things with some some PLC logic that, that was out there uh, but tremendous amount of like law firm software insurance software that that were just broken and it, the, the, the expense in the beginning okay in the beginning of Vista was too expensive for a lot of the companies that I work with to attack it and decided to drop IT costs uh, or unknown question mark uh, future IT costs to move forward with Vista and therefore went back to XP and uh, it's just not here uh, in, in, in Houston you know with the clients here I, I with my friends and contacts around the nation we're, we're experiencing a lot of the same same things and it, a lot of it what a lot of it was you know to save costs just to go back um, I could tell you right now, just four months ago, four maybe 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 six months ago, uh, two big uh, uh, companies that, I, that I've worked with have gone from XP to Windows 7 and skipped Vista altogether. And you know what? That may just happen with Windows 8 too. Um, shoot, if so, a lot of companies just went from XP to Windows 7, what what's the drive really go to Windows 8? Heck, they might just you know skip Windows 8 like. The companies I know of that script Vista and go to, to Windows 9. Uh, so that's a very, very real scenario. Um, but the, the, the thing of it was is that Microsoft admitted to some of this stuff. And I'll put in the description links to, to, to Channel 9, um, which I think comes close to describing some of how a lot of it was Microsoft's fault for having like single user roles defaulting running as administrator and, and how they tried to do redirection within registry rights and stuff to make more you know compatibility thresholds higher uh, the, the, you know that a lot of this was you know self-admitted and I think Microsoft it like I said it was necessary for them to do and I think they did a, a good job now as time goes on the programmers who program this stuff have to change and write for the Vista model and you know, then then the problems go away, and a lot of, of big names out there certainly did do that. They reprogrammed their their software to to adhere to the newer Vista models and things like that, and and, and Vista got better with each service pack, so on and so forth. But it was a real obstacle and cost obstacle versus just a UI saying, oh man, now I have to go you know click here and there to do the the thing that I used to do versus something that really stopped you money-wise and function-wise uh, in, in its first deployment. The, you know, another UI thing which 
like Microsoft's Office ribbon. I can't tell you how many people hated the ribbon, but now use it and then find it productive. That's a UI change. It, wasn't, it didn't stop necessarily anything, anything functioning. A lot of people learned with this new ribbon thing, uh, probably while kicking and screaming. So I'm going to leave, uh, if I haven't I already said it, I know these links to, to some channel, to channel 9 and what Microsoft did to address some of these things, you know, from their beta on to real releases and what their concerns were that at the time, even, even that stemmed back from uh, Bill Gates. And just self-admitted security model, I, I tried to put a, an annotation on the previous video to one of my behind the bit videos where I described this uh, uh, a little bit. It's an, it's an older video, but my, you know, I just said the same damn thing anyway. Uh, so go ahead and, 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 and check that out. And the thing, you know, the th thing of it was, is the Mojave experiment, which, which, which was, which was great, you know, like a hidden software, you know, go ahead and use it. Do you like it? And oh, by the way, it's Vista. I think is uh, self-explanatory to the hell that that uh, um, the Vista experienced in the beginning. That's all. Um, so that was where I was coming from. Um, hope I hope that explains it more. Thanks for watching. Yeah.